Mike Last here with a video of some 2017 potato harvest action or digging potatoes as it's often referred to. I am out at Beak Farms in Vincennes, Indiana and we are out in the field with a versatile 280 tractor pulling a potato digger uh, slash harvester and ahead of that is a versatile 2180 tractor pulling uh, a digger that's digging up four rows and uh, conveying the potatoes over in front of this 280 so he can take eight rows of potatoes and you'll see that coming up here real soon. Uh, I did a video back in March on this very same farm in this field here where they were planting the potatoes and the potatoes grow from March and then they start digging them about the 4th of July right after the 4th of July. And these potatoes are being dug up and side loaded into the truck as you see here and they will haul these potatoes back to their farm and these potatoes will be washed and braided and they are loaded into semi trailers and then they are hauled off to various places and made into potato chips. I got video of pretty much all the action from uh, aerial views from the ground and I also have video of them grading the potatoes but you can see here the 2180 running the digger ahead it's digging up four rows conveying them over and laying them on the rows right between the tires where the 280 will come with the harvester so he's taking the eight rows of potatoes and loading them into the truck to speed up the process. These potatoes are grown on a sandier soil so irrigation is important because uh, sandier soils do not hold moisture well so they do have center pivot irrigators out here and this field is actually right here is across the river and we're actually in Illinois so we can see Vincennes but we're across the river but the potatoes are being hauled back to their main farm and grated over just just out of Vincennes Indiana. These are a thinner skin potato so these ones do not keep real well in the summer heat so they are pretty well as soon as they are harvested they are uh, like I said washed and grated and hauled off and they are processed almost immediately into potato chips. Uh, the Potatoes that you would get later in the fall would have a thicker skin and would store better. However, these ones here, uh, these are not good baking potatoes either. These are good for potato chips and these are also good frying potatoes. And you come out here in the field and of course there's, uh, you know, different sizes of potatoes and stuff that do fall through the conveyors. So if you're hungry, there's uh, plenty of potatoes laying out in these fields that you can uh, pick up. However, they don't keep real well in the summer heat. If you look closely there, you can see the potatoes that were conveyed over and laying in between the uh, two front tires there of the 280 as he comes along. There is a lot of potatoes grown in this area and some vegetables, also a lot of watermelon. And of course, Indiana, this is also corn and soybean country, but uh, right here along the Wabash River, we'll find potatoes and watermelon harvest was going on while I was here. And that is more uh, manual labor than anything. The watermelon is hand-picked and when I was uh, going down some of the roads here, I seen this area's got a lot of old school buses. And what they do with the old school buses is they cut the sides out, they modify them where they drive these out in the field, and then they can load the watermelons right into the side of the school bus and haul them back to the farm. And you're guaranteed, uh, as I've seen here, going down these back roads, uh, every intersection has a few watermelons that have rolled off the truck and fell onto the, rolled onto the road and were broke. So if you're coming through here and you was hungry for watermelon, there's plenty laying at each intersection for you. And uh, I'm sure the critters were enjoying it as they pass through in the nighttime. The family farm operation here currently runs four front wheel assist versatile tractors. They also have some Fords and several older uh, Alice Chalmers tractors and Gleaner Combine and such. And also I will put the names down in the description, video description here. Uh, a couple of the guys here at the farm also have YouTube channels, so... I'll put the link to their channel down below and be sure to check that out. Uh, you can see a lot of their farming operation uh, from planting, harvesting, side dressing, spraying, a little bit of everything.
and here's the process uh, back at the farm. So the potato truck is coming in from the field. He will back up to this conveyor, and you will see the whole process as these things are unloaded and conveyed onto all the conveyors, graded, washed, and so forth.